hi and welcome to Angling For You. Today you join me at uh, Molly's Pond on Birtwood Fisheries and we just hooked into the first fish of the session. Feels like a nice little F1. And uh, today's session is going to be about fishing cold water, uh, paste on, um, pellets on the cold water. And uh, as you can see today, <laughs> it's definitely, definitely cold. And uh, it's very, very, very windy today. And uh, under them normal circumstances you don't want to be out in it uh, but you know we're out here we're still enjoying it and uh, we looked into that first fish of the day which is like I said it's a beautiful little f1 which is more than welcome in this cold cold uh, cold conditions let's get him on and up and then we'll have a look at the gear nice and lively not surprised outside in this uh, this cold weather hooked perfectly in the top lip. Just uh, trying to unhook him with freezing cold fingers. There we go, just nicked in there perfectly. Still plenty of life in him. Let's see if we can give him a quick show for camera. There we go. Beautiful start to the session. Let's get him back and uh, we'll go through this rig. Right, so the rig now. This is very important obviously when you're fishing uh, in the winter and it differs obviously quite a bit from when you're fishing summer. So I'll just move up to camera and uh, we'll have a little uh, look through the rig. Right guys, so the rig. Starting off with the top kit, um, it's got uh, a hybrid fusion uh, progen elastic um, and it's pr probably um, six to eight uh, a white it's it's really soft um, and really forgiving and then obviously we've got one of them the midi uh, pole pots on there and we'll come back into that in in, in how we uh, we feed it uh, in regards to hook we've gone with a silver uh, silverfish banded hooks they're they're on a, a size 18 about th three 3.8 uh, bottom uh, just in case obviously we hook up uh, into any uh, big carpies, uh, which is always a possibility. Uh, and the main line is uh, 014 Gempo uh, Pro Gen line, and uh, we've got that all the way through um, to that to that hook link. Now, what I'm going to show you is a bit about the shotting pattern before we go onto the float. So you can see from above the, the tip of the float, which is this finger to here, we've got a number eight stop. Uh, and that is basically uh, because of this terrible crosswind to just to control that float and just give it a little bit of control with with the wind so obviously we've got uh, a, a, a shanty style float um, and again we've gone for about a point three uh, just to, to give a bit more stability uh, with the wind underneath it we've got a couple of number eights and then probably down from the bottom about six inches we've got another number eight and then from that about 10 inches down from that we've got another number eight and six inches down from that is a nine and a number nine and down onto the uplink there's another number nine and that is just what they call a strung out uh, bulk or a shirt button style rig now basically what that is to do is for the the line to fl fall through the water nice and straight and come down in and un undeterred to, to the fish and settle nicely um, we don't need to rag that bait down there through any through any silvers we want it to fall nice and natural down to the bottom and try and not spook the fish as you can see with that tiny little hook we've got a size 4 mil uh, banded pellet just a normal fishery pellet obviously Birtwood you don't have to have fishery pellets so it's just one I've got in my bag from Lindon or, or wherever but uh, we're going with 4 mil we don't want 6 mils this time of year 4 mil is obviously targeting those smaller fish and we want to be able to get those hookups with a, with a uh, sort of 6 mil or maybe bigger tend to be a bit more hesitant and obviously we're looking after getting those bites so let's get back on the box um, I'll, show, I'll briefly show you those pellets and how we're feeding it We'll get back in there because it's really, really cold and see if we can uh, catch some more fish. Into another fish now. Nice little silver fish, looks like a, a skimmer. Onto those pellets, this is what I, I, I expect in most things to be. Uh, Sort of silver fish, a little roach actually. Um, 
like a little bar of ice. Love the little fish, let's get him back. See if we can catch another one. Into a feels like another F1, maybe a skimmer. Uh, is another F1. Always welcome in this cold weather. Oh, it's a skimmer. Nice little skimmer. Looks beautifully in that, that bottom lip. It's a lovely fish. Let's get him back. Sometimes it's a positive sign when you when you catch a skimmer. Um, sometimes it means that they usually do go around in shoals, so it's usually one or two at least around if they're not spooked. Wind just dropping down a tiny little bit. Still getting these gut strong gusts and uh, still having my eyes watering out the back of my head, but we're uh, starting to string a couple of fish together, which is which is good. And again, it's just about that little amount of a bait. I probably put sort of ten micros or so in that in that cad pot. And it's not every drop in that we're doing it. Um, and that's, you know, if you overfeed them, they're going to be eating the micros and they're not going to be sort of e eating your bait. And that's what we want, obviously. This feels like another F1. It could be an acrobatic skimmer. Yeah, it's another nice skimmer. It's a little bit better stamp than the last one. And as I said before, usually when you catch one, there's usually um, some more hanging about. Looked perfectly again in the lip. That one obviously wanted to go back, but um, a nice fish nonetheless. Let's, uh, let's get back in and see if we can catch another one. Another, another fish to, uh, to end the session. And a nice little ro roach, beautiful roach to end with. If we can just grab hold of him. Lovely little fish. So I hope this video has been helpful uh, to you. It's uh, something that uh, is is obviously used all all year round on these commercial uh, fisheries, these pellets. And it's just a few adaptions to your rig, um, fishing lighter and feeding less to try and put those extra fish on the bank. It's not always fun to be out in the cold, but once you're wrapped up, you know, you can still have some good sport. So uh, thank you for, for supporting and, and for watching as always. We're over 5,000 subscribers, so big thanks to everybody for that. That's amazing. Um, we've got plenty of stuff planned this year. Uh, amazing challenges and fun visits and, and, and all sorts of stuff coming up. So uh, join us on the Facebook group and you'll see a lot of those updates and things like that. Join us on the Instagram if it's photos that you uh, you love to post. Um, uh, angling underscore for you. And uh, like and subscribe guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Tight lines. <laughs>